Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, in my previous video, I discussed about uh, the concept of modulation index, sidebands and bandwidth in amplitude modulation. So in this video, we will be discussing about the power relationship in amplitude modulation that is the power contained in uh, the various uh, sidebands and the carrier signal along with the total power expression in the amplitude modulated signal. So as you know the amplitude modulated signal waveform it consists of two parts we discussed in the previous video that is the carrier signal part AC cos omega CT and the double sideband signal that is EM by 2 cos omega C minus omega MT which is the lower sideband and cos omega C plus omega MT which is the upper sideband. So the total power in an amplitude modulated signal is the sum of the power contained in the carrier signal which is given by P subscript C plus the power contained in the sidebands P subscript SB. Again the power contained in the sidebands is divided into two parts which is the power contained in the lower sideband and the power contained in the upper sideband. Okay, so this is the total mathematical expression means the total expression for the power total power contained in an amplitude modulated signal. So now we will calculate what is the expression for power contained in the carrier signal and the power contained in the sideband signal then the total power expression ok let us do so. so first we calculate the power contained in the carrier signal P subscript C we know that the power of a signal time varying signal XT is given by P is equal to 1 by T integration from limit 0 to capital T modulus square of the modulus of the time varying signal DT where T is the time period of the signal capital T is the time period of the signal. So the power in the carrier signal will be given by PC is equal to 1 by 2 pi into integration from limit 0 to 2 pi EC cos omega C T whole square DT. EC square comes outside as it is a constant. Then we substitute cos square omega C T with 1 plus cos 2 omega C T by 2. We know that 1 plus the identity which is here used is that 1 plus cos 2a by 2 is equal to cos square a that is the identity which is used 1 plus cos 2a by 2 is equal to cos square a that is the identity let me write it down here 1 plus cos 2a by 2 is equal to cos square a. This identity is used here. So we write it down here like this then we separate it into two parts where dt comes in this part and cos 2 omega ct in this part. Then we perform integration dt becomes t integrated from 2 pi 0 to 2 pi and integration of cos is sin and sin when it comes to pi or any multiple of pi the output will always be 0. So the final expression will be EC square by 4 pi into 2 pi which is equal to EC square by 2. So the power contained in the carrier signal is equal to EC square by 2. So please uh, pause the video 
anywhere you find it uh, difficult to uh, understand and go uh, note down these expressions these derivation part in uh, your note copy it will be helpful for you okay so the power contained in the carrier signal it is given by ec square by 2 the power contained in the carrier signal is equal to ec square by 2 next we will calculate the power contained in the side bands okay so the power contained in the side bands this will be a complicated expression and a complicated derivation so it will be a bit lengthy also so the side band signal the double side band suppressed carrier signal is given by mt cos omega ct or em cos omega mt cos omega ct which is given by em by 2 cos omega c minus omega mt plus cos omega c plus omega mt this is the double side band suppressed carrier signal this is the lower side band omega c minus omega m frequency part this is the upper side band omega c plus omega mt so the power in the side bands again we will use the same expression is 1 by t integration of 0 to t x t square dt so here we have PSB is equal to 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi EM cos omega MT cos omega CT whole square. So we substitute this with this 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi EM by 2 cos omega C minus omega MT plus cos omega C plus omega MT whole square DT. So it is A plus B whole square. Okay. So we have A square plus B square plus 2AB that will happen. So it will be again written as 1 by 2 pi okay em square by 4 cos square omega c minus omega mt plus cos square omega c plus omega mt plus 2ab a square plus b square plus 2ab please uh, look carefully here so that you do not miss any step okay a square plus b square plus 2ab when you square em by 2 we have em square by 4 the constant part which comes outside this is a square this is b square this is 2ab so we integrate all of them separately this is em square by 8 pi 0 to 2 pi cos square omega c minus omega mt dt plus 0 to 2 pi cos square omega c plus omega mt dt plus 0 to 2 pi 2 cos omega c minus omega mt cos omega c plus omega mt dt finally we get the output expression as em square by pi if you calculate we, if you perform the integration here you will get the values as em square by 8 pi into pi plus pi plus 0 total we have em square by 8 pi into 2 pi which is equal to em square by 4 so the power in the sideband signals in amplitude modulation is equal to em square by 4 this is the power content in the side bands so if you want to uh, know how this uh, we get got these values uh, we will discuss it here see this integration part okay cos square omega c C minus omega mt dt or cos omega c plus omega mt dt okay cos square omega c plus omega mt dt and this how this happened so we will discuss it here so let us consider omega c minus omega m or omega c plus omega m to be equal to theta so cos square omega c minus omega mt or cos omega c plus omega mt it can be written as cos square theta cos square theta as i said you can put the trigonometric identity 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 you integrate it from 0 to 2 pi again you divide it you separate it into two parts 1 by 2 goes outside so the constant part d theta from 0 to 2 pi and cos 2 theta d theta 0 to 2 pi so 
d theta when integrated it becomes theta and integration of cos is sin again this becomes 2 pi and sin whenever it comes to multiple of 180 degree or multiple of pi its value will always be 0. So, the output value will be pi. So, the integration of 0 to 2 pi cos square omega c minus omega m t dt or cos square omega c plus omega m t dt is equal to pi. Here omega c minus omega m t and omega c plus omega m t is replaced with theta so that you understand it in a better way how it happened. Okay. Next is the sideband the 2 cos a b part how it happened. So, we know that 2 cos a into cos b is equal to cos a minus b plus cos a plus b. So, we can write this expression as 2 cos omega c minus omega m t into cos omega c plus omega m t 2 cos a let us consider this as a and this is b. So, the value will become cos a minus b plus cos a plus b ok 2 cos a into b is equal to cos a minus b plus cos a plus b. Try to relate these two expressions omega c minus omega m t is treated as a omega c plus omega m t is treated as b. So, the expression will become cos minus 2 omega m t plus cos 2 omega c t. We know cos is an even function. So, cos minus 2 omega m t will become cos 2 omega m t and cos 2 omega c t will remain as it is. So, when you perform the integration here 0 to 2 pi 2 cos omega c t minus omega m t into cos omega c plus omega m t t t you will replace it with this expression. So, integration of cos 2 omega m t d t integration of cos 2 omega c t d t. Again integration of cos will always give you sin ok. So, here we also get sin here we will also get sin and sin when it comes to multiple of 180 degree or pi any multiple of 180 degree or pi will always give value 0. So, the net output will be 0. So, this expression integration will always be 0. So, now you know how we got the pi and 0 in the uh, power calculated in the side bands. So, the total uh, power expression mathematical expression for total power. So, we calculated the power contained in the side bands is equal to E c square by 2 and the power in the uh, power in the carrier signal is E c square by 2 and uh, the power in the side bands is equal to E m square by 4. So, the total power is equal to the power in the carrier signal plus the power in the side bands. Now, we know that the power in the side bands is equal to power in the upper side band plus power in the lower side band. Both the powers are equal, the power contained in both the side bands upper and lower are equal. So, we can calculate this them as the total power in the side bands divided by 2 which is equal to E m square by 4 by 2 which is equal to E m square by 8. So, here we get the total power is equal to P c equals to E c square by 2 plus P s b the power in the side bands is equal to E m square by 4. E c square by 2 is taken common. So, we get 1 plus just uh, try to understand this part it is E m square by E c square by 2. So, we know that E m by E c is modulation index modulating signal amplitude divided by carrier signal amplitude. So, here we can write it as power total power is equal to E c square by 2 into 1 plus E m by E c whole square by 2. So, this will be the total power will be P c into 1 plus square of the modulation index divided by 2 ok p t is equal to p c into 1 plus small m square by 2 this is the expression for total power you can remember this p t is equal to total power is equal to carrier signal power into 1 plus square of modulate modulating in modulation index divided by 2 modulation index is equal to 
Em by Ec. This is the formula for total power, which you will use most often use in while solving various numericals. Okay, so remember this formula. So next uh, we have the efficiency of amplitude modulation. So efficiency in uh, any modulation process is defined as the useful power divided by total power into 100. Now what is useful power? It is the power contained in the sidebands and total power is total power which is available along with the carrier signal and the sidebands included. So you can write efficiency as power in the sidebands divided by total power into 100. Now we know we calculated previously that PT is equal to carrier signal power plus sideband power which is equal to PT is equal to PC into 1 plus m square by 2. So if you expand it we get PC plus PC into m square by 2. So if you compare these two expressions 1 and 2 you will find that power in the sidebands is equal to PC into m square by 2 power in the sidebands is equal to PC into m square by 2 total power is PC plus PSB here we calculated previously that PT is equal to PC into 1 plus m square by 2 so PC PC gets cancelled out power in the sidebands is equal to PC into m square by 2 so efficiency can be calculated by putting this expression and this expression PC into m square by 2 divided by PC into 1 plus m square by 2 PC PC gets cancelled so we get m square by 2 divided by 1 plus m square by 2 so we get m square by 2 plus m square as denominator the 2 which is contained in the denominator gets cancelled out so we get m square plus 2 plus m square into 100 so that is the efficiency of amplitude modulation okay m square by 2 plus m square into 100 where small m is the modulation index which is equal to em by ec where em is the modulation signal amplitude and ec is the carrier signal amplitude so here in this video uh, we discussed about the power relationship the power contained in the carrier signal the power contained in the sideband signal and the mathematical expression for the total power and also about efficiency of amplitude modulation so i hope you like this video so Please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics communication and instrumentation engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.